Oh, you caught me right in the... I'm setting up for a video. God, why do you guys get here so early? Just wanted to, like, show you a few things, and you showed up before I'm even ready. Man, I can't understand. Anyway, I uh, just reviewed this uh, laminator, and it's just the same as all the rest. It does nothing more or less than anything else. But uh, I had a video recently on showing what happens when you put uh, thermal paper through a laminator. So just for fun, we're going to repeat that now because I did not put it in a laminating pouch. And being that this is probably going to be given away, I don't care about using the consumables because <laughs> that's on them. So I said that for that you're going to do cold lamination so we could put it on cold. It says it's ready because it don't need to heat up. And of course nothing is going to happen. So we'll feed it through just to do it. Just to see if the uh, laminating pouch actually does get squeezed slightly and might want to stick ever so slightly. So we'll just, we could do it this way. It comes out perfectly unscathed, of course. And it's almost ready. Yeah, it's still open and all that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that to hot and actually see if it will blacken that while that's in there. So while this guy's heating up, which was not really the point of this video, only showing it to you because it's out, I recently reviewed this hot glue gun. Now, this is funny because this hot glue gun, it says Max Done. And right before this, they sent me one of them little low temperature hot glue guns with the low temperature hot glue and it's just not you know it, it doesn't don't get a low temperature hot glue gun anyway this is a 60 or 100 watt hot glue gun and I'm saying ah, it's gonna suck it's gonna suck do you know that this is like one of the best hot glue guns that I've seen in a long time? This is very close to the Aodon one that uh, I actually purchased that has a variable temperature control on it. But the fun part about this one is this is actually so big, even without this foot thing, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, this thing is actually so big, it does not fit into Hot Glue Central, which is my toolbox, metal toolbox I had that I keep all my hot glue stuff in. Uh, there's going to be a link down in the prescription there where you could see that video and a host of others and all that. Link to this thing, link to that thing, it's all there for you. But the reason I bring this up was because I wanted to prove to you that what you see on TV, and I'm not saying just on TV, I'm saying in my videos also, it's carefully planned out. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's send this thermal paper through the laminator and laminate it and see if it will darken it may not turn it black this is different oh look it actually worked it actually worked that's impressive but it still darkened it see see that stripe there and here it's darkened so it definitely did darken the paper for sure so, anyway, I, I was generally correct in what I said. It definitely did darken it, but it didn't turn it absolutely black, such as just feeding it right through uh, as I did then. So with that out of the way, uh, like I said, <laughs> things are not always to be believed. In the glue gun video, I had glued some cardboard together. Why did I glue cardboard together? Show hands. 
You don't, you don't know? No? All right. The reason I grew, glued cardboard together is because I know that the hot glue is going to perform a good enough job with that that the cardboard fibers are going to tear rather than the glue giving way. I also glued a piece of wood, which I have right here. Let me throw in a few snippets from the video of this hot glue gun and my gluing the cardboard and tearing it so you could see and also gluing this wood together. And we'll just do that. Okay, so about that much glue and just stick it down. Alright, so we're going to leave that right there. I have these pieces of wood. So we're going to glue those together also. This I'm going to really glob it on because I want you to see how strong the bond will actually get. Okay, that's pretty good right there. And now without touching it because it is so hot, I'm going to squeeze them together. Here is the cardboard. I left this side without glue, but take a look what's going to happen. Now, as far as the wood, <laughs> yeah, that's not coming apart. No way, no how. No, it's bending the wood. Take a look. I made a hole in that <laughs> with the screwdriver. The wood pieces will not separate. Now, yeah, I could get a hammer in here and really bang it, but... That is some pretty good adhesion right there, where the wood does not want to separate. So you saw the cardboard. I already threw that out, so I don't have it here to show you again, but you get the general idea. I specifically chose to do that because, A, I have tons of it around, and B, I knew that it was going to tear the cardboard, and it makes this look really good. How about the wood? Why did I choose this wood? This is a couple, the, these are a couple of pieces of a 2x4 that I had uh, that were actually cut with uh, some of those China uh, electric chainsaws that they sent, which worked reasonably well. But I can't get these apart now. Why do you think that I chose this wood? Well, yeah, it was scrap and. Uh, I have no real need for it, but did you notice something? See how rough that is? That's why. I know that the glue is going to coat this really good and get into all of these little valleys. And by doing that on this piece of wood and this piece of wood, we kind of have almost gripping force into the wood itself both there and on the inside of this one. So they're kind of pulling against each other and holding it together. So there's your physics lesson for this video. Uh, problem is I, I can't... It's... I, I can't get them apart still. So let's see... Let's get out the, uh, the heat gun and see if we could actually get them to separate. So the whole point of this video was to demonstrate to you that a lot of sales demonstrations are deceptive. I chose these specifically because I knew they were going to work. Will it work on other stuff? Is it a bad product? Yes, it will work on plenty of other stuff. And no, it's not a bad product. I actually really like it outside of the review video, and I'm probably going to end up using it quite a bit. Um, but you will see demonstrations on TV in infomercials and it's the same thing like a super sharp knife that cuts through bone and stuff like that no it doesn't it doesn't if you want to cut through bone you need a fucking saw now if it's a really nice serrated blade on that knife yeah it'll cut through it it'll go but as far as just chopping through it 
there are some that can if there's enough weight behind it and that, but typically it's pre-scored or something like that. And when you go to the butcher and he cuts stuff up, he's got a fucking bandsaw. And that's how he cuts the animal up <laughs> into pieces and goes right through the bone and all that. Um, so a lot of the tests that they do are done specifically because they're going to, or the, the product is going to make the test excel. So with that said, let's heat this and see if I can get the glue to heat up enough to uh, separate the wood. Let's see where you are here. Yeah, we'll move you back a bit. The glue is getting kind of liquidy. But I'm going to heat, keep heating it. My hands are a little cold today, so I'm going to use some of that while I'm here. Not even. <laughs> wow. This may have been a really, really good test. It's getting like molten-y on that side. Problem is I need three hands and I, I don't have them available. I need like a helper whiff or something. Yeah, look at the glue. It's getting all molten-y, but yet because it can't heat the inside. Let's try over on this side now for a bit. Wow. I didn't think it was going to be this good. I did not think it was going to be this good. That is pretty impressive. All right, let's stop that for just a moment. Let's see if I use another hand for a second. No, it won't go. It just won't. <laughs> of course, I did put an inordinate amount of hot glue on there, and this wood is pretty hot. I think if I heated this in a, like a toaster oven or something, maybe... The glue definitely softened, but of course it's solidifying. Yeah, we just got a chunk out of it. <laughs> well, 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 well. Yeah, I think with enough heat I'd be able to separate it, but um, that's exactly why I had chosen to use this scrap wood because I was throwing it out anyway and uh, I knew it would do well I guess the towels burn now oh well I don't need that kind anymore right needs a wash anyway and whatnot so anyway yeah it kind of would separate but haha <laughs> would separate okay that means my time is up for this video so we're gonna we're going to call it quits there. Yeah, it's just going to keep breaking the wood. That screwdriver is hot! Yikes! Alright, enough making a mess. I'm leaving glue on the towel. Because that ain't going to just wash out. Uh, enough time wasting, I guess. So, anyway, fact of the matter is, don't be fooled. Don't play along with the big, fat, dumb American consumer. And think like, oh my god, look, that thing really works. No, it doesn't. It works like shit. Everything generally works like shit. Unless it has the J seal of approval. And that's very, very few and far between. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. That's going to wrap this one up. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Just for shits while we got everything.
There you go. <laughs> that did her in. <laughs>